Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. I'm a SaaS trainer and programmer. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the SaaS keyboard shortcuts. Most of you already using SaaS uh, for many days or maybe few of you are very new to SaaS and uh, tips or maybe the shortcuts will be helpful for your programming activities and sometimes it will uh, speed up your work. So let's get started with it one by one. For that, first of all, I'll just jump into the SaaS software and let me try to write a simple program and then we will just play one by one. So let me try to write a program data. My data set name can be anything called test semicolon input statement. Then I'm just writing it. A is one column, B is one column or maybe I'll try to write it patient ID, age and sex. I'm just writing it here. Then dollar sign. I'm giving a semicolon. Cards or data lines, you can write it, which you already know. Patient ID 1, years of the person is 56 years old, maybe male. Another person is uh, 2, then it can be a uh, 45 years, female. Then followed by third one, I'll try to create it. I'll stop here. Then 78 years, maybe male, semicolon and run. So semicolon, then followed by Proc means it's a procedure, print, I'm just using it, semicolon and run. That's it, I'm done with my program. I'm just selecting my code. I can select the code by using shift with upper arrow. You can use it to select it. This is one way, shift with upper arrow to select it. Or else, imagine if you have a thousand lines of code or two thousand lines of code, you want to select bottom to top the total code. Shift with page up button, you have to use it on your keyboard. Shift with page up to select all or maybe you want to select top to bottom. Shift with page down so that it will select the total or else if only this program, you can use control A to select the program or you want to select only piece of the information. You manually select it using mouse. Any of these options, you can use it. So now you can select the total option or total code by just using mouse. And then here I can see a running boy symbol, which is there. I can click on it or else I can directly click on F3 button from my keyboard. When I'm clicking on F3 button from my keyboard, it automatically gets executed and you will get the output in output window. So some of the keywords will not support F3 directly. You need to use a function with F3 to running the program. I'm just using F3 from my keyboard. Yes, the code is got executed and this is what the output I got it perfect. So I want to just go back to our editor window. You just come here and then imagine the code what you have created right now. I want to execute in another way around like by using submit option here. I can just write submit in this particular search bar and click enter. Even that time also the code will be get executed. Either of these methods, three methods, you can use it to submitting of your program. F3 button from your keyboard running boy symbol or submit on this particular search either of these options you can use it another thing is this is the code i have written i'm interested to save this code to my desktop or c drive or d drive i can use a control s to save the code where i can save it i can just give the destination where you are interested let's say i'm just saving into my desktop destination i'm just giving it i need to make sure to give the file name can be anything let's say the file name is abc i'm just saving into my desktop yeah it's got saved to a desktop I can use control S. Okay. So uh, this is a way of just uh, saving the program. You want to open the program. Just imagine I close the SAS software now and again, go back uh, to the SAS software. I want to open the program. What I have saved yesterday. I can do one thing. I can use control O control O means opening the program. I can just open it from my desktop where the code is located. I can select it. I can open like this control O for open control S for save. Suppose imagine you have a program you want to copy. I can do a control C for copy to paste it. I'll use a control V to paste it. Control plus V, V for victory. I'm just using. If you want to do certain changes, you can just do it. Okay. So if you, you want to check that this particular program is saved or not saved by looking into this icon, there is a small tick mark. You can see here, there is a small star that you have not saved your program. So when you click on control S, the, that star is gone. Whenever you see a star in your footer, that means there are some unsaved changes in your program right now. You can get it. So you can get that information. 
so whenever you try enter something automatically the star mark will come into picture so star always resembles that you have not saved the program definitely you have to save it another options is you can use control p for printing the program i can print my program into a by using a printer i can print a, take a print out of it or i can use a pdf document if you want to save this particular code in a pdf or any format you can just save it you click on it so the total code you are trying to save it to desktop you just go for it and click on okay that's it i have done saving that pdf document to the desktop so now whatever the code i have written you see that the code is already been saved in the form of a pdf document it's there in the desktop you can just save it or else i can just jump into another way around like imagine i want to take a print preview so there is an option here called print preview also there you click on it it will allow you to how the print will be appear on your a4 size sheet so the print preview you can able to see here by just using an option called print preview option there is one more called control v you pasted it control x also we can do let's say imagine i have this particular code i want to cut it directly use control x to cut the program and control v to paste it and again control v to paste it so i can do a control x also to cutting the program so if you want to do undo control z i can do it i want to redo again just to have that program to be pasted automatically again control y control z for undo control y for redo okay and you want to change this particular male females data only to be on a capsuleta then I, when i'm just selecting it what happens you know so it is selecting horizontally the remaining values also you want it vertically selecting only male females data i can press my alt button on the keyboard i can select that with mouse like this and then once i have vertically selected these values i can use control shift u to make it upper cases at the same time you are interested to change these values into lower cases i can again just select it by using control alt so that vertically i'm just selecting now you just see here so i'm just selecting vertically by using alt button vertically i have selected i want to shift everything to lower cases control shift l to make it lower cases and sometimes you are interested to find something in your document i can use control f to finding out so what you want to find out i want to find out 45 where i have given when i am searching for 45 click next wherever the 45 is there in the data uh, it will just uh, highlights it sometimes imagine some of the code has written in a commenting lines so i'm just writing it commenting lines how you can write it slash with star then you are writing it uh, this is my testing program okay so within this i am just writing it so the testing program as a commenting line i have written so now when i am searching for control f it will try to search this particular option the test i want to search it let's imagine i start searching from the top then automatically it will highlight even the test which is there in the commenting lines also you are interested to search something in this document only the program lines then here is an option find code only or find comments only or find code and comments whichever you think that is right you just select it accordingly i want it to find this particular test name only in the in the code only so then if you click on it see it will be available only at the test is the name in your code only it won't search in your commenting lines at all sometimes you are interested to search for match case let's say imagine i'm searching for it test so test here i have written test is normal but this test i have written as a capsulator so now you are interested to search only the capsulator of your test where it is in the data then i can use an option here called match case you select that option this automatically selecting wherever the test with the capsulator wherever it is possible it will highlighted only that if you want it okay control f for find you can find easily not only that the control f you can use it in your log window also imagine you have a plenty of uh, log messages let's imagine you have a thousand lines of code of log messages have been created you really interested to have certain issues or warnings you want to find out search for it control f search for warning search for error search for unwanted messages like uh, uninitialized messages or warnings note messages or any other stuff which is required you can use a control f to find out this is way how in real time the sas programmer is managing their job so when there is a errors or warnings even the 1000 lines or 2000 lines of code how easily they are catching it's because of this particular option 
So you can use a control F for find. And if you want to find and try to replace test with my new data set name called Nido, control H, I can do it. When you do a control H, whenever you find something and re try to replace with something else, I'm trying to find wherever it is a test. It can be uppercase or lowercase, not a problem. Try to replace that particular data set with Naidu data set, replace all. When you click on replace all, it will replace all the positions wherever it is possible. It will try to replace it. Okay. And when you are commenting your code, I can use, see, it's already been commented. I want to uncomment your code. Suppose imagine this particular program is there. You want to comment it. I can use control with question mark to commenting those lines. You see that? I have commented. You're really interested to uncomment it. I can use control shift with question mark to uncomment it. Control with question mark for comment. Control shift with question mark for uncommenting it. Right? So you can use all these shortcuts when you want to use it. Or else sometimes you want to erase everything in the editor. I can use a control E so that it will erase everything in the uh, editor window. Not only editor, if you have some options or maybe some of the text here, you are interested to er erase everything in the log window. Also, I can use control E, it will erase everything. Even output also we can erase. Or else you can do one thing here in this particular sheet itself. You can type at an option called clear and click enter. Either of these options you can use to clear all the editor windows, whatever you have it. I want to bring my program back. I will do a control Z to undo in my program, I can get it. Sometimes you're really interested to commenting only one line of code, not two or three more lines. Then you can do one thing. You just mention a star here and then semicolon and automatically it is just commenting only that particular part if you want it. Yeah, only that line of code will be get commented. Okay, so yeah, this way you can do it. Sometimes imagine you want it, this particular uh, sex column need to be removed, remaining all the columns need to be there in your data. Then I can use an alt select. You see that alt select and just select it vertically. I'll remove it. Not only for removing, if I'm interested, I can copy all this by using alt select. Then I can paste it wherever I interested. You just see that I'm pasting it down. So you can copy paste also by using alt select. Yeah, you can do that. So, and apart from that, you can use uh, here called uh, help button. It will try to give you the help documentation. Whenever you want to search something, you can get it in this particular search itself. You can type it for help uh, purpose. You can type anything. So whatever you want to search it in this document, you don't know how to write a input statement or maybe card statement. You don't know how to write it. You can search it. This help documentation will be helpful, right? So, and you are interested to close the SAS. You always use an option here to close the SAS by just clicking on it. Instead of that, I can just use an option here called close. Here you can just say buy. So then SAS automatically will close your SAS software. If I click on it, the SAS software will be get closed. Before that, one more option is you are in the editor window. You want to create one more editor for your purpose. I can use control shift N to make it. So one more editor. So to be opened, suppose if I just use control N so that new editor window will be get open control n is enough so that new editor will be get opened if you want it right so these are the keyboard shortcuts we regularly use it in real time so i hope this particular video is helpful if you are interested to take a live training with me please register in the below link so that you will get all the details and more clarity on the sas training and you want to brush up your career and all so yeah you can just join in our course thank you for watching the video and I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you. Bye all.